Hey guys, what's up? It's Exuperist here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 4 of Boku no Kokoro no Yabayatsu. I really like the episode, uh, the previous episode. I liked episode 3. It was a lot more soft and sweet and romantic because we finally get to see Ichikawa realizing that he has feelings for Yamada through all of the encounters that they've had with each other. He's been thinking about her, watching her, and there were only a few moments. Well, in episode two, he was able to get a photo with her, just the two of them, and he got that as a souvenir from the culture festival. So their romance, their love story is progressing slowly but surely. I just hope that this guy is going to be able to get the girl in the end, you know? We all, we're always cheering for that. And hopefully Yamada will be able to re reciprocate uh, the feelings. But at the moment, I feel like we do need a little bit more character development on Ichikawa's side. He needs to be more confident in himself. He needs to learn how to express himself and communicate more effectively. He needs to be able to socialize as well and probably have a guy friend, a close guy friend with whom he can share a lot of his high school junior high school moments so yeah those are just some of the things that i think we can hope to see in the next few episodes uh but so far i've been i've been enjoying this epi uh, i've been enjoying this show i like the comedic moments especially during the first two episodes they were i really like his commentary his mental commentary of everything that's happening. I guess that's understandable because he doesn't really have a friend with whom he can talk. So most of the things that he wants to say, we get to hear in his inner dialogue. I like that the use of that as a narrative device and also as a comedic device because his comment, his comments are just so funny, especially when he's sort of answering the idiotic garbage that some of his classmates are saying especially some of the guys i mean it's understandable they're in that phase but at the same time you know have a little bit of control but anyway so this is episode four of boku no kokoro no yabayats and i'm, I'm super excited to see what's going to happen because you know just he finally realized he likes her hey guys before we continue with the reaction don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Okay. okay. Well, yeah, we'll take it baby steps, bro. そんな病のせいで人生しくじる輩の多いこと僕は決してそんな失敗は犯さない昨日は地位が書いてくれたから今日はもう一個が書く番え飛ばせなのこれうん。Okay, I want I, I just want Okay, I just wanted to comment on that. Uh I know that a lot of guys probably around this age, I know I was when you have these feelings of maybe more than just a crush maybe an infatuation uh with someone it kind of confuses you right it's like you don't know what to do with these feelings so i, I get what he's going through he's trying to work his way through it trying to figure out and process what's going on in his in his heart or in his mind right how to deal with it and what to do about it as well. Not having a lot of experience with other people and probably not actually talking about with other people and asking advice might be to his detriment, but we'll see how he works his way through processing his emotions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> これはひょっとしてこっそり持ち帰ろうとしてる漫画とかでよく見るステイの安手の子に牛乳を与えるという俺山田牛乳をもう飲んじゃったはよっと思ったらプルチェだった<笑> 
Okay. So we're back to the same antics. <laughs> I love it. What? <laughs> I love the fact that he always springs to action whenever he sees her doing something questionable. <laughs> okay, this is... They're setting themselves up for trouble. So he's very meticulous. He's very meticulous and he's very creative. He's just socially awkward. Oh my gosh, she's just chugging it. Okay, this is just misunderstanding. Waiting to happen. Who is this girl? <laughs> okay. Is she a fan, maybe? あ。オッケー。で、あとね。これ、うちの犬と顔入れ替えたやつ。キモいよね。うん。全然笑えないんだが。あら。あ、いいかん。これでは僕が邪魔になって。He's <笑> very sensitive and perceptive, by the way. Okay, that must have taken a lot of self-control from him. He probably does actually want to have a picture with her and do some, some... Oh my gosh, what's happening? Okay, so finally we get to see the other girl in the girl group, right? She's not... Okay, wait, 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 wait. I, f I don't feel like Yamada's the type to hold a grudge against anybody. She's just really an, an airhead, so... Hopefully this girl isn't taking it as if she's passively, passive-aggressively letting her hear that or making her feel guilty because she broke her nose accidentally. Hopefully she doesn't take it that way, but it could be taken that way, but... I 
again, we've seen Yamada a lot more than these other characters, right? So we know it's it, she's not that type of person. Hopefully they get to clear up the misunderstanding and hopefully this girl, Kanaoya, is able to apologize just for her own peace of mind. Because I don't think Yamada took... I, I don't think Yamada took that too, too much, too hard. You know, whoever broke her nose, I don't think she hates them or has any bad feelings toward them or any ill will against them. So it's just hopefully for her own sanity and for her own peace of mind, Kanoya, for her to apologize and be rid of the guilt. Because, you know, obviously Serena is sort of guilt tripping her, but not necessarily, not intentionally, but she's just telling her to apologize just so that, you know, they can clear the air. See, she doesn't even remember it. Yeah, she probably doesn't even know. She doesn't even care. Yeah, see? coming from him. <laughs> well, she is a model. It's part of it. Right. It's so big. <laughs> She's serious about it. Oh wait, no, she's she was just joking. <laughs> wait, this is illegal, isn't it? I'm pretty sure this is illegal in Japan. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> You don't need to, though. Not necessarily. His ears are getting red. He can't. He can't. He's too embarrassed at the moment. It's right there. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see? I told you. It's like, it's against the law. <laughs> okay, that was a bit <laughs> too far. That's a very big jump. Go, go, go. Oh, 
Knowing you, though. <laughs> the girl who never shares her snacks at all. みんなちょっと聞いてほしい。先生が忙しくて酔い出しは週明けになった。が、どっちにしろお菓子を持ち込めなくなると山田が図書室に来る理由がなくなる。ああ、疲れた。バイトご連だよ。今日はこもりだし
ッチがいい片方あげたね<笑><笑>じゃあこっちうん<笑>子供だなはあ What was that? Yamada de yo. Yo, Betsuni, um, um, no cotton, I kid on up. Okay, so I just realized this is probably one of the few. Romance comedy anime that I've watched that's just so cute and adorable and lighthearted and precious, not so much drama. It's so rare for me to find something like this, and I don't know, I think it's just because of the characters. We have somebody who's really bubbly in Yamada, she's just so bubbly, so. Upbeat and perky. There's nothing negative in her. And then we have Ichikawa, who is probably the embodiment. It's not really negativity, but you know, the recluse. He's basically the recluse, right? So when you put them together, it's just a really good combo. You know? And I like it. I like the way that. Their story is progressing. And here we get to see a little bit of the sweet moment between them outside of school. We get, we also got to be introduced to her older sister. But the more important part of that scene was Yamada obviously coming down to talk to him, just to talk to him, not necessarily to order something because she noticed him. And Obviously, I, I, I understand as well that Ichikawa would probably brush it off. The thought that she went there just to talk to him, because what girl in her right mind would do that, right? Would talk to a loner, gloomy kind of kid like me. That's probably what he was thinking. But she obviously got closer to him and got more comfortable around him as well. Especially with all of the incidents that happened so far, especially with the science lab incident. So, yeah. I like their story so far. It was great that Kanaoya and Serena were able to make up. That, that also gave us a little bit of a, a little bit of a lighthearted moment. A little bit of a joke, I guess. Trying to imitate Yamada and her line. It wasn't really cringy, but it was cute when Ichikawa tried to, to say it as well. Anyway, we also had the double writing scene, which, as I said, I knew that it was illegal in Japan. Thankfully, nobody caught them. So, yeah,、uh, this one's just pretty much very cute, lighthearted romance. I think this is what my heart needs at the moment just something funny and sweet and lighthearted. Not a lot of tears, not a lot of drama. I don't really want to cry too much these days. So, that was episode four of. Boku no kokoro no yabayats. And thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.